Hello and welcome to this session on how to record and spy on existing open browser in Catalon Studio and uh, this is a very useful feature because when you are creating your test cases suppose you have created a test case which is of like 50 steps and you want to now record the 50 one step so in that case you do not have to go right from the scratch and do all the 50 actions earlier so you can record and also spy on the existing open browser and as of now this is available only on chrome browser this feature and this is uh, version 5.5 of catalon studio so until now it is available only on chrome but hopefully in the new versions we will have this feature on other browsers as well so let us see how to do that suppose i create a new test case so i will first create a new folder uh, i will name it as record on existing browser and i'm just naming this for easy referencing and inside this folder i will create a new test case and name it as test1 and hit enter and yes now i can start recording so i will record and this is the sample url i will record it on a chrome browser so here is my chrome coming up and here I will give a username and a password and hit on login okay so I am keeping this browser open and I am just stopping this here and actually when you stop it actually uh, creates a closed browser and closes the session or uh, I should have clicked on ok but that's ok I will say ok and just say ok I can create a new folder record on existing browser and this a uh, new folder for object i am just creating for easy referencing you if you do not want you can just add it to the default object repository and you can see this is uh, recorded actions and i will just delete the closed browser and let us say i again open a new uh, browser and i am opening this chrome browser itself here and here i will go to the same demo site so this one is this one yeah i'm going here yes and i will just do a login manually first so now i want to record the test case and i want to continue on this particular browser so what we can do here is i will go to my catalon studio and here I will click again click on this record and I can also spy as well right I can do anything I will say record and here it is saying selected test case has unsaved changes save it so I will say ok save it and yes I do ok now here in the drop down of this web recorder window you will get active browsers and as of now you will only get chrome so if you have your chrome already open it will be shown here and select this it will ask you uh, this option now see it also says catalon recorder should be present so that is actually this uh, plugin for catalon studio so if you go to your chrome and go to web apps or go to plugin section here you will find a plugin by the name catalon recorder and search for it and you can see this so add it to your chrome in my case it is already added and you can see this here so i'm just going to say continue recording and now you can see it is now recording on the already opened browser so i can click on anywhere here and see it is recording this and i will go here and then this so it is recording all these things here okay and now i will just close this okay and i will close this as well and here i will say okay and i will use the existing this i will say okay and let me go back to my catalon studio and you can see it has uh, now recorded all these uh, extra steps or the continuation steps and of course it has also recorded open browser which i can obviously remove it from here and this i have now recorded the other steps as well and i can now 
check it by running it on a browser. So let us just see if it runs properly with all our pre-recorded and post-recorded actions. So it's opening the Chrome browser. So we have just recorded login in the first session and then the rest of the things in the second session. So it does a login and then let us see. Yes, it is going to other links as well. Yes, it is doing all the actions that we recorded in the next session and we are able to create our test case. So this is how you can do this recording and I hope this session is very useful for you. Thank you for watching.